just a poor wayfaring stranger while traveling in this world of woe. Yet there's no sickness. To your... Stand by, Brad. Action. Hey guys, today we're in. Central Texas up in the hill country. We hooked up with Desert Door Distillery and we're gonna be harvesting some Sotol plant to make Sotol spirits. We're gonna get out, start harvesting some plants, show you how they do it, head back and distill it and uh, show you the products. So, uh, put the, oh shit, backwards. Going? Oh, that's what that means, huh? <laughs> All right, so joining, joining me from Desert Door here is uh, Ken Coburn. Ken, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, behind us, we've got some, some pretty interesting plants here. You want to tell me what I'm about to get involved in here? Yeah, we're going to do the first process of making sotol, um, which is harvesting. So, sotol. Uh, well, I just see it. Where is the sotol? Sotol? Uh, sotol, see, sorry. Right behind us here. So, just by taking a glance at this plant, um, you know, it's looking like it's a uh, it's loaded with all kinds of booby traps. You want to show me the proper way to handle this bad boy? Yeah, sure. Let's get our gloves on. So we're gonna grab. Oh, we grab a handful of leaves like this. All right. All right. Aim it, not at your hand, at the leaves. And start pulling those leaves away. Just give it a haircut. Pretty much. Just keep doing that until we get to the base of the plant. There you go. Now, before we uh, cut all, before we cut all this off, mm -hmm. <clears throat> let's take a look at this. I mean, this thing is all kinds of barbed up. Uh, without the gloves, I'm assuming this would be cutting the hell out of your hand. Yeah, it leaves a pretty nasty mark on your skin. There you go. All right, so we're gonna use a crowbar to get it out from the. All right, let me finish the up the haircut. If you want to grab the old crowbar, can do. All right. All right. Okay. Try to get underneath like that. Just gonna wiggle. Wiggle pop. Oh, wiggle and pop. That's right. Well, let me do it for you, Ken. Go ahead. Give it a shot. I was honestly not expecting that to be as easy as you made it. Well, I got good good teachers, Ken. <laughs> Cool, man. All right, there you go. Uh, look out for any centipedes, yeah? And centipedes? Yeah, we gotta watch out for those. Now he tells me. Uh, you'll see scorpions. Scorpions, huh? Uh, scorpion centipedes, tarantulas. Um, you guys got all the good stuff. Yeah, but uh, looks like we're clear for this one. Yeah, so that's that root system we're talking about. Wow. Pretty wood-like, huh? Mm -hmm. Pretty tough plant. Very fibrous. I mean, I guess you'd have to be pretty tough to live out here for 100 years, huh? Absolutely. My God. And this is what we're looking for. That, mm. that is what, uh, that contains all those sugars that we want to break down and ferment. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Not the big starchy, Correct. fibery. Oh, so it's a, it almost reminds me a little bit of like an artichoke petal. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, uh, in the family of the artichokes. Huh. Look at me. Yeah, so this, we pulled out from the top of this atoll plant. Look at it. Let's see. It's got an amazing looking little shine and texture to it. Is the plant, is this little petal itself edible? Uh, I'm sure it is. You're sure it is? I have Very convincing, it. Ken. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure just gonna go is. for it. You yeah. do it first. All right. <laughs> That's not that bad, huh? Not that bad. Something like this weighing around, you know, 10, 15 pounds or so. How much of a bottle would this fill? I, mean, I guess that's a tough question. Uh, yeah, so it depends on the size and the weight, but this one right here will probably yield about a bottle or so. Finished product. Oh, wow. So pretty good yield on these bad boys. Absolutely. So cool, we'll load this up in the truck, maybe harvest a few more, and then uh, head back to the distillery and put me to work there, huh? Sounds good. Sounds like a plan.
I can. Brad, do you want to drive the truck? Absolutely. Uh, five speed? Four. Four, a four speed, huh? Oh, rock and roll, man. Good old American four. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good old bench seat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't find them grinding, Vinny. <laughs> no, I would never. All right, whoever owns this truck, I would never. Grew up on a five speed. Four speed, same thing. What year is this thing? 77. Wow. Yeah. This is fun. This needs a little work. Always do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Vinny in the van. Oh, whoa, 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 no, no cameras, bud. I'm in the truck, all right? No, nah, minivan's cool. Get in the van. Fun and games are over, Vinny. All righty. So this is it, huh? This is it. First step is taking the plants that we harvested and loading them up into the baskets. From there, they go into the cooking. Oh yeah, this is that big boy, Vinny. Look at that thing. That's two bottles right there, easy. That smell is pretty nice, ain't it? Oh, here's the pride, the beaut. I'm still proud of this one. Yeah, that trim job, huh boys? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, all these gotta go in too? They do. A surprise what, centipede? Oh, you don't wanna see the centipede. No, I don't wanna see no centipedes. Oh my God, no. I'm coming in hot. Yeah, look at that, huh? Is this just like a giant, giant pressure cooker? That's right. And what temperature are we cooking at? We're cooking it at 100 degrees Celsius. Celsius, what's that in Fahrenheit? It's uh, 212 degrees. Oh, boiling. Yeah, okay. so we're gonna get some steam into there and that's how we cook. Remember, we're talking about breaking down those complex sugar structures. Yeah. And we do that by uh, uh, using steam to break down those bonds. Okay. And so, yeah, that's why it's in here. Cool, how long does that go for? About three days. We'll let that cook away, and then what's the, uh, what's the next step in the process here? Next step is pressing. So we're pressing. gonna pull these baskets out. Yep. They'll have a tobacco kind of color to them. Move it closer to the press, fire that up, and start pushing the uh, plants inside there. Okay, cool. And what, so, and then like the, the pulp or the excess, discarded, juice comes out another? Yep, that's right. These flanges here prevent that from popping out. Popping out, yeah. Should I not be standing here? Uh, you'll be fine. All right. Jesus Christ. Woo! Okay. No one got injured. <laughs> yeah, All a little right. pop to it. There you go. <laughs> and we're gonna move this railing up in front? Yeah, we are. So we juiced out all those plants, mm -hmm. filled up this thing here. What's the, what's the next step? Well, the next step is uh, pumping this into the fermentation tank. So, okay. So now we've got our Soltol juice in here. Um, the yeast uh, is added into the tank where then it goes to work. It converts those sugars into alcohol. The last thing we do uh, is check alcohol, ABV, how much alcohol has actually got produced during that time. And uh, once that's recorded, we'll go ahead and pump that into the still. So that's really uh, what we're after is the, the alcohol that's sure. being produced. I take gloves off? Yeah, you can take them off. I'm just gonna leave them right here, okay? Sounds good. So we've got our ferment is inside the kettle. We'll bring it up to temperature. And as that temperature rises, you're refluxing. So it goes, turns the vapor, drop back down to the liquid. Up and that's kind of like a cleansing liquid. process? Yeah, so you're, you're essentially trying to get the purest of alcohol through the top of that, that sure. column. So once you get your your pure alcohol, it comes down, there's another column. What's, what's going on in there? This will be the condenser. It's packed with cold water. When it touches cold water, it turns into liquid. And that's what we're capturing here on the side. Amazing. After a run, we'll collect all of our uh, spirit, uh, our distillate inside here. Um, we'll test it again, make sure we know that in this given volume, it's X ABV. And then we'll proof that down to uh, our bottle proof. So okay. can, we, can we taste this uh, high octane? Yeah. Fire water you guys got here? Yeah, absolutely. There it goes, and that's it, close it. So based off of that hydrometer, it's saying it is about 90%, yeah. <laughs> Before you cut it, 
or uh, what were you? Uh, proof, proof it. Deep root, what'd you say? Proof it. Proof it. Mm -hmm. um, so this is running, you said about 90% alcohol. That's right. So uh, that translates into what, 180 proof. That's right. Right? Yep. High octane. High octane. All right, can I take a little nip? Absolutely. I'm gonna smell it first. Yeah, I would do it. Well, it's actually pretty, pretty, like, well, I don't wanna say calm, but kind of tame. It's not like, oh, it burns your nose. That's it's right. It's actually pretty mellow. It is mellow on the nose. I mean, obviously. Sweet. Yeah, so that, I think that comes through the plant. So not all the sugars get converted to fermentable sugars. Um, and we feel like the sotol juice that's inside the kettle, that still that, that kind of carries through. It's amazing how it's, it does still have that kind of sweet vegetal, mm -hmm. even after yeah. all that crazy process. Yep. You know, I've smelled some super, super high proof alcohols before and mm -hmm. it is, does not smell as, as pleasant as this. No, we're very proud of it. Yeah, well, it's a fascinating plant and process you guys got going Thank on you. here. I'm gonna take a little nip, I guess. I kind of yeah. have to. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. That was a pretty unique experience in the mouth there. <laughs> I feel like it almost like evaporated before I swallowed it. Well, it's 90 per, or 90 percent. So yeah, it should. Man, highly flammable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. It's actually, it's actually pretty good. Okay, slow down, but yeah, we, right. we don't want to drink too much of it. I mean, this is pretty awesome, but I'd love, can we jump in and taste some of your guys' final proofed out product? Absolutely, yeah. Let's All go right, to cool. the tasting room. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this is our 80 proof so tall, so it hasn't been barrel aged. Okay. Uh, so this is right out of the still, or it's proofed down to cool. about 40%. I love these little... What's the name for these? They're called copitas. Okay. A traditional way of drinking so tall. Oh, beautiful. I love them. Uh, yeah, let's do it. There you go. Yeah. Let me smell it right off the bat here. Yeah, again, it has that kind of sweet, and it, uh, you know, it almost, I don't want to say buttery, but it has a softness to mm -hmm. it, you know? Oh, wow, for a rape, it's so much different on the mouth than that that we were tasting straight out of still softer, before we right? proofed it. What are some of the flavors you kind of get out of this? I get mint, a eucalyptus, um, buttery, like almost, almost buttery. Like yeah, you were almost, saying, right? right. And very vegetal, right? And that comes through from the plant. You know, we saw where we harvested this plant and we were in, you know, rocky soil and it was, it must be a product of that too, that like kind of terroir, terroir, mm -hmm. how do you say that? Terroir? Terroir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll let you say that. And you said this only, re this only really grows in, in Texas and, and northern Mexico? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it uh, spreads along into Arizona, New Mexico as well. Oh, okay. But um, northern Mexico, for oh, sure. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I noticed over here you got a bunch of barrels. You said you're aging. You, you, you pop some of this in them barrels, and how long you let that sit? You sit uh, for about nine months. I love the blue. Or is it a, what are, what are we yeah, calling like this color? Let's say a, co yeah, blue cobalt maybe? Yeah, I get into that. Well, cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that's nice. That's, that is pretty sippable right Thank there. You. Yeah. And we're awesome. very proud of what we've, we've done here with these two. Yeah, very, very sippable. It just brings me to a real happy place. You know, it's, it's winter back home, getting real cold. All right, I'm just gonna close my eyes. I'm seeing crackling fireplace. I don't have a dog, but the dog's laying by the fire. All right, I'm sitting there, real cozy chair, just nipping on this. And in yeah, 10 minutes or so, I might even fall asleep a little, you know? But it also, it doesn't, it's not a, it's not a sluggish, you know, it's like, they call it a spirit for a reason, I always say. You know, it kind of it does liven you up a little. Much different than even wine or, or beer, for that matter. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that's just the uh, alcohol percentage. Yeah, but. Right, yeah, yeah. Like All right, well, cheers, man. Thanks cheers again. You. Yeah. Welcome. Is that wind an issue? Wait for the wind to die. Ah! Take two. Do believe me down, Vinny. Oh, sweet Mary. I almost lost you once today, babe. Ain't trying to do that again, right? God's sakes. Cowboy hat must hate it. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. Well, hope you learned as much as I did about Sotol. Learning about that plant and seeing it, nothing about it screams, hey, pick me, eat me, ferment me, turn me into a beverage. It was the first time I ever had Sotol, and it blew me away how much complexity and flavor depth there was to it. it had these beautiful, you know, minty eucalyptus and, and soft vegetal flavors. You know, you get a, you get a product that is distinct to this region. There's something special about that. Well, thanks again to the folks from Desert Door Distillery for showing me how they make Sotol. Hope you guys had fun. Check it out, try to get some, and uh, you know, bon appetit. Huh?
tall. So, so tall. tall. The hell was I saying? <laughs> total. Total. So tall. So tall. All right. Hey guys, today we're out here in Central Texas, up in the up in the hill country, and uh, we hooked up with Desel. Oh, Should I say hooked up? No. Hey guys, today we're in West. Oh, shit. Take three. Hey guys, today we're out here in. Oh no, not today. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm overthinking this. Hey guys, today we're out here in Central Texas, up in the hill country. Uh, we just want to say hooked up.